Jiufen, a traditional Taiwanese village charms with its many street food stalls, souvenir shops, tea houses and lanterns. However, besides the busy old street, Jiufen is also the home to some masterpieces of Taoist temples, which are incredibly beautiful. While Jiufen is one of Taiwan's most popular tourist destinations, its temples mark havens of quiescence. Strap yourself in and get to meet what I call the hidden gems of Jiufen. Welcome back to my channel Gemographic. In today's episode, I will guide you through the wonderful temples of Jiufen, and the first place that you have to visit is the Tsingyun Temple. The temple is quite hidden from Jufen's lookouts, but when you're on your way up to the village, you may easily spot it. The moment you arrive there, you will realize how massive the temple is. I think it's the largest Taoist temple I've ever visited. There are seven floors in total, each one is different, but I would say the first and the seventh are the most beautiful ones. The moment you enter the highest floor, you will enter this hall of gold. It's just so overwhelming. It's definitely the most beautiful Taoist temple I've ever visited. I believe each floor is dedicated to a particular aspect of life. From all the gold being present in this hall, I would say this one may symbolize wealth and prosperity. You should also go out to the balcony. From there, you have a very beautiful view on the surrounding scenery. The sixth floor is also very beautiful and I believe it's dedicated to farming and health. On the first floor you will usually see monks and some people who come here for praying. However, all in all, only few people come here and I was always alone on the upper floors, which makes it very safe to say that this temple is very underrated. The second place which is very much worth a visit is the Mingsheng Temple. This house of worship is already much smaller than the Tsingyun temple. However, size-wise, it's actually very typical for a Taoist temple. It is located at the bottom of the village. Thus, it's a good idea to come here first when you arrive at Jiufen. The temple is built on two stories. It has a lot of beautiful altars with many gods. But what is actually very impressive is the ceiling. And here you can see the symbol, which is very common. It means yin and yang. The balcony on the upper floor is also very nice. Besides the view down to the beach, you can also see a lot of these beautiful ornaments. Right next to the lookout and the entrance to Jufen Old Street lays the Chao Ling Temple. When walking up to the northern entrance to Jufen Old Street, you surely will pass this temple. This one here is a little bit bigger than the previous one and it's also very beautiful. As you can see in comparison to the Old Street of Jufen, these temples here aren't overrun at all. I think that's simply due to the fact that most of the travelers they would first go to Taipei and visit quite a few temples there. But when they come up here to Jufen, they look for different things such as experiencing the traditional village culture in the old street, the tea houses and the foods. Quite hidden and often forgotten, at the top of Jufen lays the Shengming Temple. In my opinion, after the Tsingyun Temple, this one here is the most beautiful one in Jufen. It is quite a bit hidden. Usually the people who visit Jufen wouldn't go any higher up than the old street, but should they do, then they won't even be aware of this beautiful temple being around. It's actually quite a pity, because this temple is really a masterpiece. When you enter this beautiful hall and even go to the upper floor, then you'll see a lot of idols. Taoism is very different from Abrahamic religions, because there you have many gods. They're not necessarily supernatural beings. In fact, some of the gods used to be real people like emperors, generals, warriors or people who are just very smart. Important to mention here would be these three gods, the San Sing. Fu, Lu and Shou stand for prosperity, status and longevity. 
There are also some smaller temples, for example this one here, which is at the southwestern end of Jufen Old Street, or the Kaicheng Temple, which is at the very top of the village. These were the amazing and very underrated temples of Jufen. In one of my upcoming videos, I will give you a full travel guide about this traditional Taiwanese village. So that's it from my side. We're going to see each other very soon.